In my videos about whether or not to start a record collection, I noticed a number of people talking about listening habits and routines. This gave me an idea. Today, I am going to share some of my routines. I know, it's kind of weird. A record collector talking about listening habits and routines and building habits around listening to vinyl. Well, put on your thick black rimmed glasses because this dude's a damn nerd and we're about to go deep down that rabbit hole. And at the end of this video, if you're struggling to kind of really pinpoint what your routine should be or even build a routine, I will be sharing two books that were huge in my personal journey. Let's jump right in. The first thing I do when I come downstairs each morning after waking up is put a record on the turntable. Then I make my way over to the stove and put a kettle on to boil water for my French press. I'll spend two to three albums before getting my day started. I find it allows me to center myself and really kind of get the day started on the right foot. I know some of you aren't morning people. Some of you have kids, which means it's a little bit of a madhouse in the morning. But for me, that's my time to really kind of sit down, center myself, and kick the day into gear. Having a dedicated point in time each day where I can sit down with my records is something that I really cherish. Back in the day, I was listening to this financial guy who goes by the name Mr. Money Mustache figures, and he was talking a little bit about the importance of doing all of the things that you kind of want to do in retirement today. And so what he means by that is don't go on all the trips and vacations and all of the things, don't buy all of the stuff that you want to buy in retirement. It's to do those little things that you want to do in retirement. So if you sit down and you think, what does my ideal day look like? when I retire. I wake up in the morning, I listen to records, I sip on my coffee, relax, then I'll get up, maybe have a shower, maybe I'll go on a nice long bike ride because that's one of the things that I personally like to do. I'll grab a lunch after my bike ride and then I'll enjoy the afternoon with a friend, maybe go to a free art gallery in the evening, maybe we'll go out to dinner and I'll listen to more records and I'll call it a night. I mean, that just sounds like an ideal day for me personally. I started looking at that list and picking out the things I could actually start doing now. I'm a very habits-oriented person. I'm also a growth-minded person. So when I sit down and I think about goals and habits and all of those things, I often turn to resources and authors and podcasts and things like that to help me along my journey. And there are two that I strongly, strongly recommend if you happen to be similar to me. First is Atomic Habits by James Clear. He has so many great one-liners in there. It's almost poetic and lyrical. The second is the Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And he's got some really, really great stories in there that you just definitely want to dig into. I'm also not necessarily someone who's gonna sit down and read a book. Sometimes I have a hard time like really focusing for that long period of time. However, audiobooks are a different matter. If you're struggling to kind of really get your habits in order, whether it's about your record collection or something else, listen to these books because they are so, so good. I've listened to Atomic Habits three or four times in the last few years. I've listened to The Power of Habit a few times, and honestly, they're on my short list to check out again. Next, dig into this video right here, where I share five reasons you might wanna start a record collection. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this dude's a damn nerd. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel, and I'll see you in the next video.